This video is sponsored by CellArt's SCP-themed playing cards. Next time you've got friends over, ditch the old boring playing cards and bust out these awesome SCP cards instead. These playing cards are printed on high quality paper and feature distinct backgrounds for each suit. On top of that, every Jack, Queen, King, and Joker in the deck has its own unique SCP illustration. The artwork on these things is truly top notch and features some of your favorite SCPs like 049, 035, and 106. Right now, Cellart has two packs to choose from. I went ahead and got both of them so I could check them out myself and I am genuinely impressed. I think you guys will be too. Follow the link in the description to the official website and get yourself a deck or two of SCP playing cards now. Item number, SCP-5855, Level 3 Confidential, Containment Class, Keter, Disruption Class, Vlam, Risk Class, Notice. Special Containment Procedures Not enough is currently known about SCP-5855 manifestations to effectively contain SCP-5855 upon manifestation. For this reason, short-term containment efforts should focus on administering Class G amnestics to individuals who have seen SCP-5855 but were unaffected by SCP-5855's non-anomalous antimimetic property. Permanent containment efforts have been directed towards the finalization of Operation TV Dinner. Upon completion of Operation TV Dinner and observation of its effectiveness, special containment procedures are to be revised. Description SCP-5855 is the collective designation for a variety of anomalous fruit bearing one or more human organs or appendages. SCP-5855 instances are sentient and ambulatory, repositioning themselves by rolling, hopping, or using their human limbs. SCP-5855 instances manifest in close proximity to individuals, hereafter referred to as SCP-5855-A, who have artistic or creative backgrounds and are affected by one or more of the following. Severe sleep deprivation. High fever. Hallucinogenic drugs. Psychosis. SCP-5855-A instances often deny that their perceptions of SCP-5855 are accurate, instead believing that they had misidentified non-anomalous fruit or were dreaming. This effect has been deemed non-anomalous. SCP-5855-A instances frequently create art depicting SCP-5855, which de-manifest soon after SCP-5855-A's spark of inspiration. Addendum 1. Artistic Depictions of SCP-5855 The following is an image taken from Tumblr user Starving Shardist. The caption reads, Inspired by a dream I had where a banana with arms told me to keep making art. Thanks, banana. Smiley face. Fever Dream by Zaleart on Twitter, 2019 the Ugly Pineapple by Ralph Jacobs, runner-up in the 2012 Scholastic Art Awards. Speech Without Substance by Emanuel Canterfellow Rosenstein, currently in the American Abstract Art Gallery, 2016. Addendum 2. Proposition by Head Researcher Turner. Head Researcher Turner's analysis of SCP-5855 manifestations discovered the following patterns. There is a minimum of six months between every SCP-5855 manifestation. The length of time between manifestations, not including the initial six months, appears related to the style in which SCP-5855 was depicted. The length of the demanifestation period is positively correlated with how realistic the depiction of SCP-5855 is, and how central said depiction is to the piece's overall composition. Considering this information, along with SCP-5855's previously documented sentience and tendency to manifest in the presence of artistic or creative individuals, the following explanation for SCP-5855's behavior have been hypothesized. SCP-5855 instances manifest with the intent of being artistically depicted. SCP-5855 has a preference for realistic art styles and depictions that focus on SCP-5855. 
The length of SCP-5855-D manifestations correlate with how satisfied SCP-5855 is with its depiction. By depicting SCP-5855 during a demanifestation period, one could extend the length of time that SCP-5855 is satisfied, delaying future manifestations. To test this hypothesis and more effectively contain SCP-5855, Operation TV Dinner was proposed. Operation TV Dinner Primary Objective Prevent SCP-5855 Manifestations Secondary Objectives Create an additional source of Foundation funding. If Operation TV Dinner fails to prevent all SCP-5855 manifestations, inoculate the public to images of fruit with human organs. This will reduce the likelihood of the veil being broken by SCP-5855 manifestations. Course of Action A Foundation shell company is to produce and frequently publish new depictions of SCP-5855 to the public. These are to take the form of an episodic television show, allowing new content and subsequently new depictions of SCP-5855 to be created indefinitely. The main characters of this series, who are to be on screen as often as possible, will be fruit, bearing multiple external human organs. These organs are to be digitally transposed onto their surfaces – skin, peel, rind, etc. – by a team of editors. If necessary for plot coherence, head researcher Turner may appear as an in-universe character. A prototype image demonstrating the realistic art style of the finished product has been attached at the end of this document. Status Approved Show prototype image Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis the Great, Lesby Friends, and Scrubversive. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.